Hello and welcome to another Tecla Structures Take 5 video. My name is John Recknagel, Precast Application Specialist, and in today's video we're going to be discussing the Master Drawing Catalog and how to create your own drawing templates that can be loaded into the Master Drawing Catalog. So without further ado, let's jump right into the model. All right, here we are with Inside Tecla Structures, and in today's video I'm just going to be using a basic double T here. But keep in mind that you can use this same process that I'm going to be showing here for any of your elements, whether it be, you know, whether you're an above grade precaster doing beams, columns, or whether you're a below grade precaster doing, you know, utility structures, volts, things of that nature. So just keep in mind that this can be universal, dependent, uh, uh, non-dependent on what kind of precast you're doing. So here we just have a basic double T, and all I'm going to do is just number my model. So let's go up to the top here and let's load open your drawing properties for your cast unit. And just to kind of get a good basic starting, just make sure that this standard is loaded in here. So just, you know, make sure that that's on there. You can press apply. And then all we're going to do here is just click on our shape, create drawings, cast unit drawing. Now this is just going to create obviously a standard cast unit drawing with all of the basic presets that come available out of the box. So one drawing created. Let's go to our document manager and open it up and let's take a look. Okay, here we are with inside the standard cast unit drawing. We've got a top view, a side view, and a section view. Now, one thing I want to point out here, if I double select in the white background, not on any of my views or borders, what we can do here is we can take a look at the layout here and see what exactly, you know, what layout is being pulled here. Um, as far as your templates and borders and things like that, you can preset your scale here. If you have auto scaling on, this is gonna Tecla is gonna do its best to pre pre set up, you know, based upon these available scales and and fully fill your cast unit drawing. So you can kind of mess around with some of these scales, and and try to uh, kind of push it or persuade Tecla one way versus the other. Now view creation, this is kind of the meat and potatoes here. So this is where we're telling Tecla, you know, turn the front view on, turn the bottom view on, turn the section view on. And then here you can add any view labels that you'd want. So here you can see top and then side. Um, if you wanted to label your section view, you certainly could. And then the view properties here, this is what view property is being applied to each of these settings here. And now what that means is if I were to, oops, if I were to double select on the border here, I'm now in the view level, right? So as soon as this opens up, um, we should see a CU form. So right up here, see you form. So if you want to make any changes, if you want to set up any object level settings, if you want to set up any filters or any you know, rules for any of your callouts or marking, anything like that, save it all in here. And then, um, so we can just do one here. We'll do take five example, save. Just pretend that I changed a whole bunch of things, set up a bunch of filters. And then now what we can do is we can come back and we'll say here for this front view, we want to load up in that take five example. So now all those presets that you have in here are now going to be wrapped into this standard uh, cast unit drawing property here. But why I wanted to point this out here also is you can also have the option to turn on a 3D view if you'd like. So you can just come here and just tick this to on. Now any time that you make any changes here, if you want to actually see what you've uh, you know changed, you're going to have to recreate the drawing. And that's what this yes button down here. So as soon as I press apply, or sorry, modify, Tecla is going to um, you know recreate this drawing from scratch. Now you have to be careful here because it truly is going to recreate. So any manual editing that you've done in this process is going to be lost. So just kind of keep that in mind. But normally when you're setting things up for the first time and you're kind of tinkering around with things, you're not so much concerned um, about losing any of your um, manual setup here. Okay, so as you can see with that 3D ISO set to on, we now get an isometric view along with our other views. You can also notice that Tecla has automatically rescaled these four views here to now uh, you know, fit within this setting. So this is all nice and dandy. Um, let me just maybe quickly touch on another topic or question that I get asked a bunch is on these ISO views, people get asked, how do I kind of position um, you know, the piece about a certain axis here? So that's gonna take place right here in the view properties under attributes one. You can rotate these 
around your Y and X axes to get that, uh, you know, kind of perfect vantage point that you want for your, for your 3D ISO views. And then once you get that set, just make sure that you save that away into this uh, view property preset there. So now the topic of today's video is kind of positioning these views, how you want them, you know, maybe cutting the other views that you may need and saving them away and creating a template that you can then utilize moving forward. So let's say, you know, we have this as our starting point, which is great. For now, I'm just going to take this 3D ISO view, kind of move it off the page, and we're going to kind of work with these couple views that I have here. So first things first, I want to rotate this view. I always want this view to show up like this. And let's say I always want this section to be in this bottom right corner. Next, let's let's come here to the side view. Let's move this guy maybe right down here. And the top view, let's maybe move him to right here. And then now I can take this ice view, but let's say maybe I don't need this ice view to be as large of a scale. I can kind of scale it down a little bit. So let's just say, just punching in a number here. Okay, and then now maybe just for demonstration purposes here, let's go ahead and add in, let's say we needed to add in another you know, view or something, or, or maybe a detail view. So let's say for whatever reason, we wanna add a detail view right here. So there's our detail view. Let's maybe blow this up and turn the grids off. So enter into the view properties here. I'm going to bump this scale way up and I'm going to turn the grids to not visible. Okay, something like that. And then just for demonstration here, let's just cut another section through somewhere here. <laughs> we are kind of already have all the sections, but just for kicks and giggles here. So we'll put that guy there. Maybe one of these is going to be like a strand, and then the other one may be showing embeds or something like that. So, so we'll come in. I'm going to turn these grids off. And again, these, you know, just like I did before, this standard view, you know, you could save this away as having the grids turned off every single time. Something like that. And let's make it just a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to come here and rotate this 90 degrees. Okay, so pretend that this is your your perfect caching a drawing for your double T's. You've got your couple sections cut. You've got your views all aligned. You've got your nice 3D ISO. You're happy with your templates here, your bill materials, if you have any rebar layouts, things of that nature. Let's pretend like we're happy here, and this is this is it. So now what we can do is we can save and close this drawing, and then we'll open up that document manager. We'll locate this drawing, WT100, right-click on it, and say Add to Master Drawing Catalog. Now what this will do is this will bring up the master drawing properties here, and we can give this a name. So I'm going to say Trimble Standard Double T CU for Cast Unit. You can obviously you know, load up any descriptions or keywords if you want to search for things. You could choose an image here if you'd like to, uh, you know, if, uh, faster to, to find things. Now the drawing creation, this is very important. If you have a lot of, uh, you know, Tecla AI baked in, like a lot of these rules and presets and object level settings and things like that, you're going to want to be very careful as to what you choose here. Um, if you have a lot of that already set up, you're going to want to make sure that you set this to create. So that way Tecla is going to use its a AI and create, you know, all of your strings for you. If you go to, you know, your marks, create, you know, Tecla is going to use those object level settings with all your marks and things like that to create those. If you don't have those set up, that's okay. Just make sure that you detail out this, that first basic ticket to be exactly how you'd like it. So you'd want to reopen up DT100, you know, manually slap on any strings or callouts or um, anything like that, that that you would want, and then just set this to clone. That way Tecla will look to that DT100 and clone anything that it needs to. But if it's set to create, then Tecla is going to just use its AI and it's going to create, you know, each of those different elements each and every time. So you could kind of set that up depending on to what level of customization that you have. And then all you have to do is click OK. 
And now that will bake it into your master drawing catalog here. So create drawings, master drawing catalog. That will open up a separate window here. And you could just search for all. And then if we scroll down, we should see it right here. Trimble standard double T cast unit. And now what you could do here is you could uh, create your own folder if you'd like. So that way it's you know right here on the top, you know, with your company name. And then you could start to kind of build up this, uh, you know, build up this library of all of these different templates. And then now when you create your next uh, double T drawing, let me just show you what that process would look like. You're going to select on your, your T's or maybe, you know, one T or maybe all of your T's in your project. And then you can right click and say create drawings. Um, this is going to do for all of your selected objects. If you do create drawings for all parts, it's literally just going to grab every single double T and create the drawing um, of that. And now what that's going to allow you to do is streamline your cast unit drawing process. It's going to allow those views to automatically be populated exactly where you want them, you know, with those settings and everything all there. So you can get your drawings, you know, looking the way that you want to, get your views placed properly, and and definitely help to, you know, streamline that cast unit um, ticketing process. So hopefully this was helpful, and uh, thank you guys for watching.